Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable. Recently during a quest line with Anne, Anne actually got a horse to train from Mark at Yorvik Stables. Because Anne's horse Concord is currently a foal, she can't really ride Concord, so she's been really enjoying training other horses. So Mark reached out to Anne about a horse called Cayenne. Oh my gosh, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. <laughs> now, Cayenne is very green, young, and quite skittish. However, there is not a bad bone in her. She just freaks out if so much as a leaf drops from a tree. Cayenne just needs some more experience, so Anne has been training her in new environments. A couple of weeks ago, we actually went along and helped Anne with this, and when Mark came along, he took Cayenne back, but... I had my eye on Cayenne. Cayenne is a chestnut Belgian warm blood who can be found on the Star Stable Horses app and today we are going to be buying her. In roleplay terms, we're buying her from Mark. I'm kind of excited for this. I really like buying horses in Star Stable which have a bit of like a backstory, a little bit of personality, and I feel like Cayenne is the perfect choice for this. So let's get started. Oh, a new player has come and said hello to me. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I'm here on the Star Stable Horses app. Let's go ahead and add a new horse. Okay, you guys, I haven't been able to buy the new American paint horse yet, but I am like, <sighs> you guys know how I feel about your paint horses. I want this horse so bad. But let's scroll through until we find the Belgian warm blood. Part of me wishes that there was a different section, like maybe like a easier way there we go to find horses here so unfortunately cayenne isn't actually an option here in star stable um cayenne is like a spice but i'm not really sure i'm thinking maybe pepper for a second name if that's possible all right we finally made it to the p section pepper okay let's see i could do something which sounds like cayenne i don't think there's like cake pepper cayenne <laughs> Candle pepper, candy pepper, carrot pepper, but like those are kind of like fun names. Like I could name a horse carrot pepper in the future. <laughs> I'm trying to think about what cayenne tastes like. Now I would do like red pepper because cayenne is, I swear cayenne's like that reddish orangey color, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite literally a red pepper. Maybe I'll do red pepper then. That kind of makes sense. I don't know if Wait, is red even an option? Wait, yeah, I have a horse named Red. It has to be an option. There we go. Red Pepper. I don't know if that will... I, I, I'm hoping that will remind me of Cayenne. Cayenne Pepper. Okay, I think we'll do Red Pepper. There we go. We've got a little baby foal. Look at how cute you are with the little oops chicken next to you. So cute. Okay, well, I've got a couple of days of training ahead of me. So I will be back with you guys very soon. All right, you guys. I am here with Red Pepper, who is currently level 8. So today we should be able to fully max our horse. So let's go ahead. Feed cayenne a little bit this is one of those moments like i really wish that there was a note section in star stable so that i would be able to write a little paragraph so i can just remember all of the details about cayenne because the thing is that as much as i will love a horse and how much i can try and remember about all my horses i feel like there's so many little details that i might not remember in like a year from now because i have over 300 horses like i really just wish that i could write the little description of cayenne i'm also not usually like a fan of actually owning npc horses like i feel like something special would be taken away from the soul rider horses if we could buy them as much as i know so many people wish that you could and i personally it would be fun to own soul rider horses but there is just something so special about them honestly i wonder if we will actually be seeing cayenne again i don't know if cayenne's going to be a major part of the story or whether cayenne was just used as a part for our players to get to know Anne because we really haven't spoken to Anne like a lot personally one-on-one -on -one, since she got out of Pandoria. Anyways because when Mark came to collect Cayenne from Anne at the end of their training and just mentioned that she hadn't started Cayenne on polls yet and Mark made a brief comment about maybe you know continuing to train Cayenne with polls once they got back to Yorvik Stables when he found her 
Herman, and that makes me wonder whether we're gonna get another quest with Herman and Mark and Cayenne or something like that. I'm not too sure. Maybe it was just a brief mention of Herman because I feel like for some amount of time Herman was just like forgotten in Star Stable. Like I'd literally forgotten that he was lost basically, that he was just not at Jovic Stables. So maybe they were just trying to solidify Herman as a character again. I feel like, oh no, I feel like the last quest was actually really helpful for character development because I feel like somewhere on the along the lines, especially when you've been doing the same storyline for 10 years and there can be like a few months or even years between some main quests, I myself feel disconnected to the characters and I feel like that's really affected my personal take on the main story and how much I enjoy it just because like I feel disconnected. So I feel like continuing on character building things is really helpful. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm gonna actually finish training Cayenne. I just wanted you guys to have a little sneak peek into what it's like to train a horse on the Star Stable Horses app. I don't hate the Star Stable Horses app. I think it's quite enjoyable, but sometimes I don't really see the point of it. It does feel quite repetitive, but I also know that Star Stable is working on kind of changing it up a little bit. But I just haven't found it as enjoyable as actually playing Star Stable. Like, they did that little fashion contest thing or whatever it was. And I went to make a video on it, but honestly it wasn't out of this world. The farming was kind of fun, but I just find myself never doing it. So that's also a little bit unfortunate, which might just be my own personal gameplay. Let me know in the comments below, do you guys use star stable horses like do you play it daily the only time i ever pick up star stable horses is when i have a video to buy one of the foals from it <laughs> maybe i should work on that maybe i should actually make a conscious effort to kind of like i have so many old horses that i already own in star stable still on the star stable horses app maybe i should just like get rid of all of the horses and just focus like playing once a day maybe and just seeing whether I actually enjoy it instead of just like thinking oh I don't know if I want to play it I don't know if that makes sense so currently in terms of role play I don't know I'm feeling like the soft role play right now where I'm not really doing anything fancy I'm just kind of talking coming up with a backstory in terms of role play I like to think that I'm not really Cassandra right now where okay in terms of lore where is Star Stable Horses set because right now it used to be May no, Maya, <laughs> who used to be here, but now it's Lisa. Why is Lisa at a stable where folds are being brought up? I'd assume it's somewhere on Yorvik, because I was like, it's. I definitely can't make the rescue line, because in my mind, when a horse is rescued, it would go to the South Hoof Rescue Center. I wish that there was a like maybe a, like a background of South Hoof, so I could pretend it's the South Hoof Rescue. Anyways, so this is either you know. Oh, that's like Lisa helped train Cayenne from a foal who then got sold to Mark or something. And now Mark has asked Anne to help train Cayenne maybe when she's about like two years old or something. Is that too old for like a green horse? Maybe one. I'm not entirely sure. Let me know whether you guys can help me flesh out the backstory of Cayenne because I feel like mine probably has a couple of loopholes a few plot holes right cayenne is oh i've already failed <laughs> awkward cayenne is doing her last bit of jump training before she gets sold to mark who will continue training her before Anne comes along yep that's the story <laughs> Thank you guys in the comment section of that Anne quest, by the way, you guys, because I completely forgot that the Belgian Warmblood was on the Star Stable Horses app, and I was like, what horse is that? And you guys were like, it's on the app, and I was like, thank you, now I can buy it. So here we have our full-grown Cayenne Pepper, and we're gonna go ahead and buy in Star Stable. There is something about typing your password in on a phone that makes me forget it. <laughs> but there we go. We actually have to do this really quickly because my phone is literally on 5%. Okay, 850 star coins. Bye! Are you sure? I'm sure I want Cayenne. Thank you, Mark. We're buying this from Mark, okay? Oh, that logo is so pretty. What the heck? I didn't know there was a new logo. That's so pretty. Oh, okay. Let's jump into Star Stable again.
All right, you guys, so we are back in Star Stable. Let's go ahead and call for pickup. And we're gonna go into our home stable and see Cayenne. For some reason, it just makes me so excited when I have little backstories like this. Oh, Mark is the snake bite guy. I have been thinking about that for ages. Okay, I still want this Belgian more blood. I still want this horse. I see Annabelle Darkly everywhere, like just always, whenever I come to my home stable. And I swear they are always on this warm blood. I want it. <laughs> Give it to me. Anyways, I, I the little like semi roleplay isn't finished yet. Okay, where is Cayenne? I'm going to assume along here, maybe? No. Did I have an empty space back here? They're usually going to the next available spot. Oh, back here. Oh, Cayenne. Cayenne. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Oh, I keep doing that with the new state machine. I can't like back up properly or hold properly. I keep accidentally backing up. Kyan, hello, you're so cute. Do you look the same? I think this is like the exact same horse. Sometimes for like quest horses, Star Stable make like really small adjustments, but either way, this is the best that we could do, I'm pretty sure. Cayenne, welcome. Welcome to your new home here at Starshine Ranch. For the longest time, I couldn't figure out. I was like, Mark at Jorvik Stables, who is Mark? He's the snake bite guy. Now, the next thing that I really quickly want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and copy the tax set that Cayenne had on in the quest. I believe that I own the, the, um, saddle blanket but it's from the winter village it's from the winter village did i end up buying it can you guys oh wait it's right there it's pretty i really like it that's actually really interesting that star stable used something from the winter village in a quest line that's rather interesting the real question is did i end up also getting the leg wraps oh wait these ones here match a little bit better if i can't find the proper ones I don't know if this is, this is probably not realistic, but I'm like, I don't know, maybe this is the tack that, you know, Mark gave us when we got Cayenne Pepper. Because, like, horses, horses need the proper saddle to, like, fit them comfortably and, like, bits and bridles. So maybe it's not that unrealistic. Let me know in the comments below. When you buy a horse, do you sometimes get tack? Is it at all realistic to get tack when you buy a horse? Okay, and we're actually wearing a nosebend bridle. I love them so much. I don't know if I have that one. I should, if it's from a quest or something. Wait, is this saddle also from the Winter Village? It's from 2019? What? I don't know where I got the saddle then from. How does the noseband bridle match something that was released in 2019 when noseband bridles did not even exist? I can't even find it on the Star Stable database. I don't know what bridle you're wearing and whether I can actually get it. Is there these bridles in black with gold bits? Yes, I just don't own it. I'm gonna buy this one. I'm gonna spend my money. Bye bye, Star Coins. You guys, I couldn't decide between a couple of um, items. So this was the first shirt that I thought of because this cardigan item is literally gorgeous. But then I found this one and I was like, that kind of matches. And then we could put the hat on and then I got like these bows which have the green and the blue. That's kind of nice as well. But then I also liked the idea of doing the brown because there is a slight tone of brown in the saddle with maybe the there's too many options you guys and i don't know which one i like the best i'm kind of leaning towards this one or something like that i'm not too sure you guys that's kind of cute all right you guys so one thing though that i wanted to do at this very end is actually head to your vic stables again and we're gonna train cayenne onto they call the poles i believe poles means jumps we're gonna do that at your vic um arena just like mark said he would we're gonna go ahead and do that i thought that would be a fun little addition to do at the end of this so let's ho head over to your vic stables right now okay you know what since we're gonna be doing jumping i feel i feel like it's it's better if we wear a helmet you know safer safer for my noggin maybe we'll do something like that that's fine it's it's fine it's whatever let's come down and say hi to mark i believe we can actually go check at Steve's farm whether Cayenne is still there to, like, directly compare the two. But I don't think that <gasps> she is. Let's... Oh my gosh, I forgot to do this. Okay, so we're actually going to make Cayenne a mare. I believe she's a mare. I think I remember her being a mare. And we're going to make her a youngster because she is still a little bit young. Probably still a little bit green. All right, Mark, we're here. We're going to do the snake bite, which isn't, you know teaching cayenne how to do poles but at least it's gonna give us xp <laughs> 
I actually was going to do the gymnastics races at Steve's farm because at least they're a little bit shorter. Oops. Oh no, we hit the pole, Cayenne. But technically, in terms of storyline, Mark said that he would take Cayenne to your big step. To your big step to your big stables to do the training so here we are that's actually a really pretty area there oh uh, i forgot how much i like i really do love the belgian warm bloods this horse is so pretty i'm gonna cry <laughs> i don't know why i'm just i i feel very attached to cayenne all right we're back in the arena let's do the last few jumps training over poles let's maybe do a slow gallop over this one just see what the difference in jumping height is that's nice Real nice, let's do a canter job now. Let's see what this looks like. Whoop, I almost hit it. <laughs> Whee, so cute. I feel like the jumping, okay, the jumping in Star Steeple has never been the best. Like the horses have never actually put their feet onto the ground. Like there's a very small limited amount of horses that actually do that, Finn horses for one. But I feel like because of the new, like you can just keep jumping thing. I know there's like a tad bit of delay there. It's not like some of the other horses, but some of the horses, it's like a noticeable landing, but that's okay. So that horse over there that that person just rode um, through me, that is actually, I own that one. That's the first Belgian one blood that I own. And I called him Alfred Hitchcock and I was a little bit worried that they would look kind of too similar. And you can definitely see the similarities, but Cayenne is definitely a little bit of a warmer brown color. Funnily enough, wait, we're wearing the same saddle blanket. That's so funny. Anyways, blimey, what a ride. You're for sure one of Jorvik's rising stars. The snake bite was no match for you. Well, Mark, you helped us train Cayenne. It's not all on me. <laughs> okay, let's head over to Steve's farm and just see what's going on over there. Maybe we'll do just a tad bit more training at the gymnastics jumping course. Let's see if Cayenne's still over here. I don't think even Anne is still over here. Yeah, not even Anne's still here. So that's okay. We can't do a direct side by side in the game. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of an exercise just because we're, we're still training up Cayenne's jumping skill and also getting her used to new surroundings and environments so we can like make her a little bit more confident because she is a little bit of a skittish horse. Oh dear, that was bad. In real life, that would be very bad. <laughs> oh, I hit the last pole. That's so sad. Cayenne, I'm sorry. That's my fault. <laughs> Obviously, because Cayenne is from the Star Stable Horses app, she is already level 10. So, you know, it's a very, it's a very slow, slow training until level 15. But I think that's going to be the end of this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below. Georgia! Jo Let me know in the comments below if you guys have... <laughs> Cayenne in your stable and whether you like this kind of video on the screen right now is going to be the video that I made yesterday it is where I just went through my closet and I'm showing you guys some of the rare items of clothing that I have from limited time events or redeem codes such as the JA band t-shirt and also the very popular purple galaxy shirt that is from the 2018 star stable live event that is on the screen right now i love you guys so much and i will see you all later bye